Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for, uh, this is your July bonus reading. Uh, we are going to jump right in here. You have this To the Sea card and this Unfinished Symphony card. Uh, you could be going on an adventure right here. <laughs> you have the Page of Wands, which is also a card of going on some sort of adventure, uh, probably to uh, see something through to the end. Uh, a lot of your readings, Aries, talk about you uh, needing to kind of like complete something or, uh, again, see like a project all the way to the end or to see, uh, you know, some sort of accomplishment that you're trying to have to see it all the way through to the end. And I kind of feel that's what those two cards are saying is that uh, you're just kind of like finishing things up. You're, um, you know, bringing something to its logical conclusion, whether whether that's, you know, success or, um, you know, whether that's you kind of, uh, you know, getting a raise or a promotion or whatever it is. I feel that's kind of like what's going on here. Uh, you have the Page of Wands as well. And the Page of Wands is, like I said, you have that To the Sea card and the Page of Wands is about going on adventure. Uh, you have the World, the Chariot, and the Knight of Wands. I mean, and the Knight of Swords as well. So you could literally be going on an adventure uh, at this time. And I feel that the Knight Page of Wands in particular is really good for following your enthusiasm. So if something is exciting or if something, you know, some, some part of an adventure stands out to you, the Page of Wands, he moves towards his enthusiasm. He's excited about something, and so he goes and he does it, whatever it is. And I kind of feel you're just coming in in this good, kind of like almost playful space, and this could be leading to a lot of success. Uh, your crossing energy is the Ten of Cups. Uh, the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you in a Celtic cross. Uh, I actually do feel pretty good about this. I feel that some of you, um, you know, the Ten of Cups can be like fortune after difficulty, but I almost feel like something is coming in to help you uh, this month that's going to allow you to move forward. So like, let's say you've been waiting to finish up a project that you're working on. You know, it's like maybe you've needed money or maybe you've needed the help of another person. You know, I, I feel like you're getting the thing that you need. Uh, same thing with love as well. It's like maybe you've been working too much and you can't take a break and you're finally getting a break and you can, you know, go on a date with a person or something like that. So I feel like there's almost, you know, I wouldn't really call it a blessing, although, you know, maybe it is, but I would say that it's more kind of like you are getting a leg up or you're you're getting some a little, like a little bit of fortune after difficulty with the Ten of Cups in the area of your crossing energy. Uh, next for what's on your mind, you have this Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Queen of Pentacles would say money is on your mind. Really, uh, the Queen of Pentacles is a card of resourcefulness. And I do feel like you got your your mind on your money here, Aries. Uh, you know, she is focusing on the pentacle. The story of the Queen of Pentacles is that she's not focusing on this rabbit. The rabbit can represent like fears and anxiety. And she's focusing on the pentacle instead. So it kind of says that she's focusing on what's important and not on what's not important. And this is allowing her to make progress. So I feel for a lot of you, this is saying that you are kind of focusing on what you do have, which is great because that will probably allow you to finish whatever this is right here, the Unfinished Symphony. And so it's like you're wrapping things up in this reading or you're bringing a project to an end with the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, in the area of your foundation, you have the Five of Wands. Mm, I, I, like, I don't know how I feel about this here, Aries. I kind of feel like some of you you know, have been dealing with a lot of conflict or, you know, it doesn't even really have to be that big of a deal. But, you know, I feel like for some of you, maybe it's like family and, you know, there could be people in your family that are kind of causing problems right now. And maybe it's a little bit of a distraction. So I kind of feel like the five wands is a minor distraction and it is showing up in your foundation. So, you know, that that's what really tells me that it's like family or something that's close to you or your job, even, you know, anything having to do with your solid foundation, that's where there could be this minor conflict and I really but I really feel it's a distraction here's the other thing I want to go here you go up to the knight of swords the knight of swords is always going towards the the past in a reading and so sometimes I feel with the knight of swords it's kind of like you are you've been running forward you hit a wall and you go then you go back to the past or you run back to something because of some sort of issue right and so i feel that it's really important with the knight of swords to follow through to finish something with that unfinished symphony card we have to go past the wall and not turn around and so i feel that this could be like an issue or a person who's causing an issue and trying to get you to go backwards. Again, obviously, I don't know every single person in your life, so I can't tell you who this person is. I have no clue. But I, I would, you know, if you, if you have a person that always has a problem with everything you're doing, it's probably that person. Or if you have a person 
that just seems like they are preventing you from moving forward, uh, I would definitely avoid that person at all costs with the Knight of Swords. And again, I would don't go backwards because you know everything is clearly you know in in the future for you. In the past position, well, actually, we're going to start here. You have this heart card. It says love, new love. You have this whale. It says wisdom keeper on it. Uh, I do feel like you could be attracting a new person. Uh, the reason that they're probably showing up in your past is that the queen of cups is also a card of your heart. So you kind of have two cards, uh, heart cards here in this reading. I, I also feel that some of you, uh, you know, you could just know this person already and maybe this person has kind of, you know, stolen your heart here, Aries, or maybe they've cap captured your attention or, you know, maybe you've had your eye on them for a while. And this person could be a wisdom keeper. You know, you could be attracting a person that has a lot of wisdom. I, I feel like this is kind of like you showing up here. I feel like you've been looking at your heart. I feel like you have been looking at the things that uh, your heart responds to. We see this quite a bit in your reading. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, number one. Uh, both of those cards, they really do kind of follow their heart in a way, even though they're Wands cards. Uh, they follow their desire. They desire to do something and they go and do it. So I feel for a lot of you that the Queen of Cups is saying that you've been examining your feelings about life or about what you want out of life. And now you can follow through, which I think is a very important thing for you here in this reading. You can follow through with what your heart wants. You know, the other interesting thing is, is that, you know, Taurus gets this energy all the time, this like heart based energy. And you're very close to Taurus, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, next, in the very near future, you have the Sandpiper Spirit says, be playful on it. You have this Frog Spirit says, clear out the clutter. Uh, yes, this person, I don't think this is the person right here, the Knight of Swords. I feel like that the Knight of Swords is describing the situation, but whoever that person is that could potentially uh, prevent you from moving forward, you know, that could be the clutter that you need to clean out of your life is that person. Or, uh, you know, maybe it's the energy of that person that you need to clean out of your life. Uh, the other thing is that I would tell you is, again, if you don't know who this person is, and even if you do, uh, I feel like the Be Playful card is saying that this person comes from a place of fear. So I think if you really look at their life, um, most of their decisions, most of the things that they say to people are just fear, 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 right? And so, again, if you're not sure who to listen to, who not to listen to, I would pay attention to people that come from, you know, joy, happiness, love, excitement, enthusiasm, all those other other things. And I would avoid returning to the past. And I'm not talking about returning to a person. I'm just returning. To, this is, you know, returning to not changing your story because there's clearly something that is unfinished that you need to finish. And again, I think the only thing, I, I don't really feel like anything's stopping you. I just think that sometimes people get in our heads, right? It happens to all of us. And I feel this is saying, like, don't let a person get in your head and, and cause you to turn around. Uh, the Knight of Swords really does represent follow through as well. So I feel like finishing something, seeing it through all the way to the end would be a really good idea. I would also be careful. Uh, we, you know, it's a Mars retrograde year and, you know, Mars is going to go retrograde at the end of the year. And sometimes I feel that during Mars retrograde years, people can just react to things and they can, um, you know, they can rush into our lives and tell us something that just isn't true, or maybe they just don't have all the details. So if someone is coming at you, freaking out about, you know, anything in life, I, w I would like slow down and like really get the details because it might not be true. Uh, over the next few months, you have the world. Uh, I do see a lot of travel and movement for you here, Aries. So a lot of you could be thinking about traveling or moving, or you are traveling and moving at this time. Uh, I feel that you will find a lot of success if you do that. I mean, Chariot, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, these are really good cards for movement. Uh, I also feel like you could be accomplishing a lot over the next few months. The world is about accomplishment. It's also about completing something. You have that unfinished symphony card. I feel that you are completing a certain journey or a stage in your life, and it's going to lead to an accomplishment. You know, in the major arcana, we go from the fool to the world, and then we start all over again as a fool. So it's like you're ending a cycle, and you're about to kind of start over. I don't really feel like you're starting over. I think you're just getting to the next stage of life. You're just starting the next thing in your life and this this will probably be happening over the next few months i do feel like a lot some of you or maybe a lot of you could be moving uh, you have the hierophant the hierophant is showing up in the area of your closest relationships so the hierophant can represent blessings he's making this symbol right there with his hands and it just represents receiving a blessing uh, i also feel that the hierophant could represent marriage so if you are attracting love into your life which i you know again i think maybe some of you have your eye on a person 
Uh, this definitely could be the person that you have a commitment with or a person that you marry. Uh, this is also another card that really tells me that you are kind of leveling up. He is blessing these two initiates in front of him. And, you know, they are kind of being initiated into whatever his sis belief system is. And so I feel for a lot of you uh, that you are, it's like the universe is trying to get you to level up or the universe is causing you to level up. I'm pretty sure several of your last, you know, last several readings have been talking about leveling up. Uh, for in the area of your future feelings, you have the chariot. Some of you, I feel, could be feeling like moving. Um, the chariot is also a victory. So a lot of you could be feeling victorious over the next few months or even sooner. On the chariot, he is leaving behind the city behind him behind, and he's going in a new direction. We don't really know where he's going. He doesn't know where he's going. He has these two sphinxes here, and they represent the mysteries of the universe. So the universe is guiding him on his journey, and he, he is just uh, moving in a new direction, going wherever the wind blows him, right? Wherever he feels inspired. And I feel like inspiration and following your inspiration would be a good idea. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, they both represent following your inspirations. But you are clearly leaving something behind and moving towards something else that will be a bigger victory. Now, this could be in work, business, love, money, spirituality, whatever. Uh, and finally, your outcome is the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is a card of going on an adventure. Knight of Wands is very spontaneous. I kind of get this feeling that you need to pay attention to spontaneous opportunity. The opportunities that come to him are very random. He is trying to accomplish a goal. He's on this journey to accomplish something. And then, you know, he kind of also goes wherever the wind blows him. You know, whatever pops up on his journey, he kind of add, he adds it on to his journey. He enhances his journey by opening up to new opportunity, spontaneous opportunity. And again, those spontaneous opportunities really could be the thing that uh, makes you very successful. And, you know, I, I, I listen to a lot of stories of success. And, you know, a lot of the times, like I've heard so many stories where people are like, oh, I set this goal to start this business. And then, you know, all of a sudden I ended up doing something different because, you know, X, Y, Z. And so I think this happens to a lot of people on the journey to success. You know, success is not linear, as they say. It's like sometimes you think you're working towards one thing and something else happens, you actually do something better. Uh, with the Page of Wands and the Ten of Cups, you have the Page of Pentacles. I definitely feel there could be communication uh, from a person. Could be an earth sign, uh, for sure. You know, it could be a Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles. But if you're looking for love, I do feel like there could be a new connection coming in for you. I do feel like there is a little bit of an obstacle. Like it could be travel uh, with all these travel cards. So maybe you're attracting a person who lives at a distance or something like that. But I do feel like there could be a very solid connection um, coming in for you here. It looks really good. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles. You're very focused on your resources. It's like, I, I feel like some of you are restricted in your finances and you're trying to remove the restriction, obviously. And so, you know, the Five of Pentacles says, focus on your strengths. Five of Pentacles wants us to not call attention to our weaknesses, uh, but you are also focusing on your strengths. You, she, the Queen of Pentacles is very focused on the Pentacle. So I do feel in some ways that you're focusing on the right things. In other ways, I think what will help you is probably education. The Page of Pentacles is a card of studiousness and learning. And so anything you can do to learn about what it is that you do to make money, I think would be very beneficial for you and would probably help push you past this obstacle right here, the Knight of Swords that's going, you know, going towards the past. I think it will allow you to push past this as well, which is like something needs to be brought to its logical conclusion is I think what I said at the beginning of the reading. It's almost like you're working on something and you could finish it. You know, it could be like a project, a business idea. It could be you uh, getting a certification so you can get a raise at work or, you know, whatever it is, doesn't matter. And I feel this is saying with like a little bit of extra learning, a little bit extra education, uh, I think that will make all the difference in the world. Uh, with the Five of Wands, you have the Knight of Wands again. Yes, um, you know, funny enough, I used to call the Five of Wands Indiana Jones. Uh, to me, it's a card of going on some sort of crazy adventure and getting a result or getting some treasure. So like I said, I think going on any crazy adventures or uh, learning new things would be a good idea for you. I also feel it's saying like spontaneous opportunity uh, could be very beneficial for you. Uh, you know, these could be opportunities that really take you in a different direction is what I'm getting, especially with the chariot. 
So, you know, again, maybe you're starting a business or you've been working on, on your business. And, uh, you know, this kind of gives me the vibes that there could be like other ways of doing things or just different ways of doing things. And by doing things differently, you, that's where you're going to find true success. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, you have the Ten of Swords. I, so I, I do feel like you've ended something from the past. Maybe it's a person that kept you stuck or a situation that has kept you stuck. Ten of Swords is kind of like a blessing. You know, he's making the same symbol with his hand right here that the Hierophant is making, and it represents a blessing. So this could represent a blessing in disguise. I feel like some of you feel stabbed in the back by a person uh, from the past. Uh, like I said, I would move towards the future. Even having the Five of Pentacles here, you know, I do feel like you're attracting a new person, but, you know, th ha there are two people on the Five of Pentacles, and sometimes I feel the Five of Pentacles is saying, that you're attracting a new person, but it's like both of you have been left out in the cold and you both need to uh, wake up and see each other, right? So it could be a person where you've both been through the same thing and now you need to kind of um, open up. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, you have the King of Wands. So you showing up right here in a very strong position. I feel that this part of the reading is really saying you need to embrace that Aries go-getter energy and you know push through uh, some sort of obstacle or barrier in your life. I, I, I really feel it's like other people telling you that something isn't going to work or um, maybe you're basing your feelings about something based off of the past. And I feel you need to push past those things so you can be successful. Uh, with the, uh, the world, you have the magician. The magician is about manifesting something into the world. It's about kind of grounding your dream in reality. So I think for a lot of you with the world, this could be a really amazing time uh, for you to manifest, for you to use your powers of manifestation and get something you want. He's also pointing at this card. You have this here and now card. So the here and now card, of course, is about being present and allowing things to happen. I also get this feeling for you, Aries, that, you know, th like things have not happened as quickly as you want. I think that, you know, especially if you've been trying to accomplish something like a goal, wish, or dream, or even if you've been trying to move as well as what I'm getting here, that it's kind of been, you know, slow. I think it's been slower than you want it to. And the universe has been trying to get you to like relax into the energy. And so I feel like that's been a little bit of a challenge. Uh, with the Hierophant, you have the Queen of Cups again. So yes, uh, following your heart could lead to love or marriage. So if you want love, I would follow your heart, do whatever your heart is telling you to do. I feel like you could be attracting a very kind of like intuitive person, a very kind, caring person as well. You know, the Queen of Cups is also very nurturing. Uh, the other thing I'm getting is that you could be finding a person that teaches you how to live from your heart. You know, you could be meeting a person where it's it's like maybe their decisions in life are very heart-based. Like, you know, maybe there's no logical energy behind it. You know, maybe they really do make very intuitive decisions. And I do feel this could be a person that's kind of sent to your life to teach you how to live from your heart. So that could be happening. Uh, I also feel, you know, this doesn't have to be love either. This could be just a person uh, that you know. It could be a friend or something like that. Uh, this is also, you know, showing up in the area of your closest relationships, which is all relationships. So I feel that you could be getting a lot of nurturing, kind, caring energy from all relationships. With the chariot, you have the seven of pentacles. I, I mean, you are in a time where you're probably going to be leaving something behind. Seven of pentacles says, is the juice worth the squeeze? Sometimes, it, you know, I think the seven of pentacles just says that you're doing something in life or you're putting your energy into something that where it's no longer worth your time. And maybe it's time to level up. It's like time for you to grow. And, you know, the Seven of Pentacles would represent a change in direction. The Chariot also kind of represents a change in direction. He is moving in a new direction towards something new. And that, you know, I think it's just that simple. You've weighed up your options with the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is like analysis. It, he's just decided it's not worth it to do what he's doing anymore. He's moving in a new direction. With the Knight of Wands, you have the Two of Swords. Yeah, no second guessing yourself. You know what? This is actually a very good, a very good reading. But I feel like it's saying that you know you see something better for your life, which I, I feel like all areas right now are definitely seeing better options in all areas. And it's probably this island behind you. But the Two of Swords is like this or that thinking. I think that the doubts at this time or this month, I think the doubts will come from you know people in your life causing doubt. And so I feel like this is saying. No, uh, pay attention to yourself, right? You have this sun. It says happiness and well-being. Yes, I think this is what you need to protect is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, those people on the Ten of Cups are choosing happiness. They're choosing to be happy. 
And, you know, again, I think there is a lot of happy opportunity for you, but I feel like you need to choose happiness. Uh, you have this August card and this chair filled. It says someone new is entering into your life. What do you know? Uh, the other thing I'm getting, by the way, is if you have to travel to see a person, I think this will happen much sooner than you think. So it's like maybe you're worried that if you meet a person from a distance or something that you won't be able to travel to see them. But I think the travel will happen much faster than you think. I also feel like there could be people in your life that are like, you know, calling you crazy or whatever for, uh, you know, meeting a person from a distance. But again, you know, this really could be your person. So, you know, don't listen. Uh, you have this wealth card. Uh, I think that you are very focused on your finances, clearly queen of pentacles. There's like a little bit of a spotlight on your finances, Aries, just based off your astrology. And I think it would be a great time to put in the work to try to improve your finances or to learn new things like how to make more money, all that other stuff. You have this desk card. It says, pay attention to your work. So uh, again, I feel there's a change coming in your work. I think you see the change. It's like you already know that things are changing in your work. So you're already kind of creating the change here. You have this cat, it says a two-faced friend. Yeah, I would be careful of anyone who's like trying to stab you in the back or who already did stab you in the back with that ten of swords and, you know, I would cut that person out. But this looks pretty good here, Aries. I like it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.